Has your Indian windshield stopped working? Fix it the right way. Everything's back together, the windshield's back on, and, and it's working beautifully. And uh, it may seem like quite a bit of work to replace this little part, but if you want to do it correctly and not have to mess with it again, you do not have to buy a $500 uh, Indian uh, replacement motor that's going to have a plastic part on it, going to fail again. You can get one of these for a heck of a lot less money, a little bit of time, fix it, and hopefully the Indian dealers uh, might offer, allow you to uh, just maybe purchase this part and get it done correctly. So visit PCRacingUSA.com or UltraCoolFL.com or your uh, local dealer to get the windshield motor fix. And I'm gonna show you uh, that the worm drive is still working. The motor is working in here. Let me zoom in on that. And yet it's stripped out. It's not working. The plastic nut that connects to this worm drive, they will all strip out on every uh, windshield, uh, powered windshield on an Indian. We've got a CNC replacement part that will replace it metal on metal, won't wear out. And uh, we're gonna do a real quick uh, video on how to take the fairing off. Not gonna be super detailed. These are, aren't too difficult. Uh, they're very similar. 2019, they upgraded this fairing. It's gonna be a little bit different. Use the power of YouTube to uh, for real details on how to take your, your fairing off on a newer Chieftain and also the, the Challengers. Um, these things strip out so bad You'll see, I can, I can hit the motor and then I can pull it down and move it and force it down. But after I hit about 40 miles an hour, that windshield, the air is going to hit it and it'll go up after it strips out bad enough. So this is a great fix. Unfortunately needed on pretty much every Indian with a power windshield. Let's get to it. Got the motor off of the 2018 uh, Indian Chieftain. The motor assembly is exactly the same. 2018 and newer Chieftain, Roadmaster, Pursuit their flagship Challenger. Uh, so here's the issue. Uh, the motor, this plastic gear strips out. It's a cheap plastic and look at this. It just goes up and down. You can see shreds of plastic here. That's the problem. What we're, and, and here's another one that we've taken off. This is, this is just a cheap plastic gear that's uh, going on the worm drive and supposed to crank your windshield up and down. We're gonna replace it with our uh, billet aluminum uh, CNC machined. Uh, part and when it's assembled it will look like this um, and let me show you real quickly I've got another one here that I've disassembled to make this so again here's the stripped one fits on there does nothing it's completely stripped out that's why your windshield doesn't work here's the aluminum piece metal on metal is not gonna wear out smooth like butter right turning the uh, worm gear the way it should and again, uh, when you assemble it, get it on here, smooth like butter. And we're going to put a little lithium grease. I will go over next uh, the details on uh, disassembling this uh, motor and swapping these out. Pretty simple. Uh, if you're thinking of doing it yourself, you can do it yourself. You don't have to take it to a shop. Um, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of Indian dealers going ahead and doing this upgrade. Okay, we're gonna do a quick overview on what you have to do to remove the fairing. This is a 2018 Indian Chieftain. They changed the fairing a little bit in 2019. The Challenger is a little bit different, uh, but it's all really basically the same. So we're gonna go over this. Um, the first thing you gotta do is remove the headlight bezel. On this 18, there was two bolts I had to remove. On the newer model uh, and also on the Challenger, the bezel kind of pops in. You want to take and pry it from the top and it'll pop off like this. You set that aside. And all the headlights have three bolts. I've taken them, two of them out. This one's loose. Just want to give you an idea of overview. So I like to leave the top one in so it stays in place. Headlights out. Got to unplug it headlight comes out. Put that aside. Now I've also uh, wanted to, while I have access on this bike, I wanted to unplug the uh, turn signals and the uh, fog lights on the Challenger. You can do that from underneath. There's a couple larger uh, connectors that you can unplug. If you don't do that till the end, it's good to have two people if you're pulling the fairing off and then it's easier to reach in and unplug those connectors if you can't seem to access them or if, or if you miss one. 
So to go around the front of the bike, again, this is just an overview. If you want a real detailed uh, explanation of your specific bike and it, this isn't it, go to YouTube, fairing, uh, uh, Indian um, fairing re removal, and it'll go very detailed on how to do that. But I'm gonna give you an overview. So I've taken uh, on this bike two bolts to take the speaker cover off. They're loose, that pops off. On the Challenger and newer ones, you actually got to just pry them off. They just pop out because I had to access a bolt here and two bolts here on this 2018. Um, the Challenger has a glove compartment with a rubber insert that will pry and pop out because there's a bolt you need to get to on it. And then there's another six millimeter from underneath. Now I also need to get to uh, four bolts underneath the windshield. Well, the, the windshield is broke. Well, I can't raise it because I can't get to it. Yeah, you can. So just go ahead and get the, the bike in the accessory position, get the motor running in the up position and pull on it. And you'll be able to get it all the way up and then go ahead and remove the five bolts holding the windshield. And then you will get access to the four bolts needed to pull this whole thing forward. Okay, so I've got the uh, windshield off. I've taken the four bolts I needed to get to to remove this fairing, all the bolts. Again, it's all very similar, and you shouldn't have to pull super hard. On this 2018, it almost falls off when you get all the bolts out, but it, just give a little tug. Uh, some of them have little snap-in uh, fittings, I believe, on the Challenger. Shouldn't take a lot of pressure. If you're seeing where it's at, maybe you forgot a bolt, so don't go, don't go prying on it. It, sh it should come off relatively easily. So I'm going to remove this. I already pre-unplugged uh, my uh, electrical uh, for my fog lights and my turn signal challenger underneath. If you don't get to them, this is pretty light. I mean, it's good maybe to have two people if you don't, if you need to unplug the electrical, but you can do it with one. And I'll show you. So this this here out here easy it comes off, and I can hold this thing with one hand. I I unplug the electrical, and now I'm just going to put this aside. Now the uh, windshield motor is right here. And uh, here, here you can see uh, some of the threads that were on the plastic fitting that stripped out. That's the problem. It's uh, this, this nut here for the worm drive is completely stripped out. Every single Indian is going to strip out eventually. So we're gonna replace it with our billet aluminum uh, uh, nut for this worm drive. And so the next step, we're gonna take off uh, uh, this motor out of here and uh, get to it, disassemble it, replace the nut, put it back together, and we'll get this windshield going. Now we're gonna remove the uh, windshield bracket and the uh, inner fairing components. Again, this is a 2018. It's gonna be similar on the other bikes like the Challenger. So what I need to do, I gotta remove the windshield bracket, these bolts here. One thing I'm gonna say, when you tighten this back up, it's got a, a, a lock nut on it. Don't go too tight, you know, too crazy with this. You can break uh, the little plastic fittings on, on these. So um, kind of watch as you take it apart and, and don't go excessively, particularly on this one. Um, that one is a pivot point. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna take those off. And then on this bike, uh, we've got the um, glove compartment and there's a rubber insert that I'm gonna pop out and I'm gonna pop out the electrical. There's two bolts in the top that I need to remove. Um, the Challenger has a two-piece part. It's got a, a, a bezel for the top cluster. You're gonna take your hand, you're literally gonna take your palm and pop it up and it'll pop out. It just, it just literally pops in with a couple of fittings. And then you're gonna have on this again, this is the Challenger, I believe seven bolts uh, that you're gonna have to remove to remove this. So I'm gonna get going on that and I'll come back and we'll have this removed, ready to get to the motor, which is just gonna be three bolts and then the, uh, where the electrical plugs in. I've got the uh, bolts off of this inner tray of the fairing. I actually forgot the uh, two bolts on the speaker side, so I took those out. You know, if you start tugging on things and it's resisting, maybe you forgot something. I'm trying to cover several different models, so forgive me if I, if I miss something on your particular bike. On this bike, I've got a little weather stripping here that's just tight, lightly silicone. When you put this back on, just put a little thin strip of silicone on there. It, it, you don't you don't want it hard to remove in case you need to get in and do something like this put some handlebars on whatever um, so anyway everything's loose took the two bolts out of there as well so this thing should pop off and it does 
and uh, I'm gonna put that aside. And, there, and, and again, on the Challenger, it's, uh, it's similar. So now what we're gonna do, there's just three uh, bolts here, nuts, holding this uh, windshield motor on. And then the electrical uh, plugs in here. Should be able to unplug that, like so. And so we're gonna take this off the bike and I'm gonna take it over to a, a workbench and I'm gonna go over how to take this apart and replace the uh, uh, weak plastic nut for the worm drive with our aluminum nut that will not wear out and uh, get you going again. Okay, so I took the uh, ten, three 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter nuts off of here. And again, the electrical unplugs right here. Just pop it out of the little clip in place. And now this motor is going to uh, pop off. They're the same motor on all of them. Here's just uh, plastic threads from how it's stripped falling off of here. And here's the problem. It's not turning the worm drive. This plastic nut is stripped out. I'm gonna take this over to a workbench and show you how to uh, take this apart so that you can change this out with our aluminum piece that will permanently fix this. And I also will say that, you know, these motors in general, this isn't our part, so I'm not gonna make any guarantees, but the motors are probably, we should last decades. Um, so once you repair this, this should be a permanent fix and uh, something that you shouldn't have to mess with again. We're gonna go over the tools required to disassemble and replace the defective plastic uh, uh, worm drive nut on your windshield motor, and, as well as the uh, summary of the process of taking it apart and reassembly. I won't go through every detail and make you watch me take every bolt out. I don't think it's necessary, but I will go over it all. So as far as tools required, uh, seven millimeter, eight millimeter wrench, five and a half millimeter socket. That's for the little tiny uh, uh, nuts on top of the, the entire assembly. Seven millimeter, eight millimeter, little ratchet, a small Phillips, large Phillips, and a clip removal tool. We also think it's a good idea to use some white lithium grease on the worm drive. Worm drive. You're gonna have metal on metal now. Uh, white lithium grease uh, uh, repels water much better. This is motor is exposed uh, to rainwater coming down through your fairing onto the motor as well as when you wash the bike. So a little bit of white lithium grease is better than petroleum. Um, and is also, you may wanna use some petroleum grease to repack the gears on the motor assembly. If you don't have any or, or don't want to, you pull it apart, it's probably gonna look good. This isn't a high wear um, uh, use motor, um, but you got it apart, maybe you ought to just go ahead and um, uh, put some grease in there. So I will move that aside and we will go through uh, what you need to do to uh, replace this gear. So on the uh, bottom, there's four large Phillips uh, bolts. Take those out and that will separate the motor from the rest of the assembly, which I've done here. It pops off. So put that aside. Um, next, you're gonna need to use your uh, clip tool, remove the clip from the top. Five and a half millimeter nuts on top come off. Uh, eight millimeter uh, nuts here. These are, these are locked nuts. Take these bolts out, which we've done. And this thing kind of pops together. You gotta kind of massage it a little bit, work it a little bit, but it will um, pop apart, kind of pull and wiggle it. And now you've got everything apart to uh, get to the uh, gear. So what we're doing, this is the uh, gear assembled to the, the hinge for, for the, uh, uh, the windshield. And you can see we've got some uh, seven millimeter nuts, lock nuts on here, a little spacer, uh, smaller Phillips, so you're just going to uh, replace the defective plastic gear for the upgraded uh, billet aluminum gear and get this thing going. So you'll uh, get that reassembled onto the worm drive. And again, this could be a little tricky here, but um, line everything up, kind of wiggle it and it will pop back together. And you'll be able to put your bolts in, your eight millimeter nuts, six millimeter on top. Before you tighten anything down, get that, uh, that bearing back in and the clip, don't lose that clip. Honestly, if you lose the clip, I don't think this assembly will come apart, so don't freak out, but uh, you know, it's there for a reason, so let's not lose it. Um, and then your motor is going to, Go back on, 
the four large uh, Phillips nuts and you'll be ready to take your reassembled uh, unit back to the motorcycle, uh, reinstall it. I'm not going to go through reinstalling it, it's just the opposite, you know, the reverse uh, directions there. If you do need more detailed information on removing your, your fairing, uh, putting it back together, there's lots of YouTube videos on that. Hopefully I did a good enough job uh, summarizing that for you. Uh, so next up, we'll uh, we'll put this uh, we'll plug it in and test the motor and make sure it's all working. Okay, before we start putting everything back together, we want to test it and make sure it's working properly. See, I got some lithium grease on here. If you put a little bit too much on there, uh, make sure you clean off the excess. Don't need to make a mess. But I just have it sat in here and I got it plugged in. Got the accessory position on. I'm hitting the control button and it's working beautifully. So it's upgraded. We're ready to put this bike back together and get back on the road. Okay, I thought I'd go over a couple things to, to watch out for on the reassembly. Um, I've got the motor in and I put the uh, uh, bracket in here. Of course, the first thing I had to do was put this uh, interfering tray in place. It kind of goes in and snaps in. I, I put the, a little silicone uh, on this rubber strip that has to be uh, re-stripped on there. It'll, it'll dry. Mistake I made, there's a couple arms here that are spring-loaded. It was pulled back, so I put the tray on, started putting some screws in and realized I had to take it loose to pull those back out of place so I could hook up the uh, windshield bracket. So watch out for that. Um, definitely put some, uh, everything going metal to metal, put a little blue thread locker on there. That way you don't have to worry about things vibrating loose and you don't have to put a lot of torque on it and, and worry about stripping things. Uh, even on the windshield, there's a little metal nut on the back that fits in here nicely. Just a little thread locker and you don't have to go crazy. The uh, uh, plastic screws are going in the plastic. Obviously no need to put thread locker on there. It doesn't do anything any good, but also it's just not necessary. Um, so the next step I'm gonna, I've got all that done and I'm gonna put the main fairing piece on. And I'm gonna, before I put it up there, I'm gonna pull the uh, fog light wires and the uh, turn signal wires and get them so that I can easily grab them. And then I'm gonna start positioning this fairing in place. And it just kind of goes in there. So now I can get, I can replug these in easily enough. I don't have to dig for them. Um, make sure that um, everything is lines up properly. Now you can't put the windshield on until this goes on because you gotta get to four uh, bolts underneath here. And now I'll be able to raise this up all the way with the bracket and I'll be able to get those on, but with the windshield, it's really difficult. So put the windshield on last or after, after the, the main fairing anyway. And then we'll put the, the headlight in and the headlight uh, bezel and we'll get back on the road. Fairing all assembled, everything's back together, the windshield's back on and, and it's working beautifully. And uh, may seem like quite a bit of work to replace this little part but if you want to do it correctly and not have to mess with it again you do not have to buy a $500 uh, Indian uh, replacement motor that's going to have a plastic part on it going to fail again you can get one of these for a heck of a lot less money a little bit of time fix it and hopefully the Indian dealers uh, might offer allow you to uh, just maybe purchase this part and get it done correctly so visit PCRacingUSA.com or UltraCoolFL.com or your uh, local dealer to get the windshield motor fix.